Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Machine Builder, and today I have this very epic add on to show you guys. It's a quarry add on, so it's very useful for survival Minecraft. Pretty epic. Let's get right into the recipes. So, if we just switch to survival mode, here we are. Here we have the main item you'll need. It's called the quarry miner. Here it is. Here's the recipe for it. Pretty expensive with one block of iron, but what do you expect? Anyway, here we are. We have this item right here, the quarry miner. And now, to make a quarry, you're going to need these edge blocks, the quarry edges, which are in here. You get eight of them with this crafting recipe. Two iron blocks, again, pretty expensive, but anyway. <laughs> here we have our edges, and you also need quarry corners. The quarry corners define the tier of the quarry, which defines the speed, and also its fuel efficiency. Because yes, these quarries require coal. Here we are, we have two corners, and there are different tiers of corners, all with different recipes, like so. I'll go through the recipes later. So here we are, so now we have our edges and corners, and the minimum size of a quarry is 5x5. Five five. So here we have a 5x5 five five quarry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the iron quarry, which is the first tier, which is the worst. So here we are, you right click on your first corner that you want to set, it can be any of these corners, and then it will tell you in the chat, first position set to this coordinate. And then you go to the opposite corner, so if you pick that one there, obviously, and then you left click on this corner. And now it built the new quarry, I was standing right there where I built it, but here we are, so we have this quarry structure, it brings this little rig kind of thing going on, it spawned two entities as well, one of them is this little thing you can't really see it's a pillar and if you click on the pillar it will tell you in the chat this quarry has been paused and if you click on it again it will tell you the quarry has been resumed it's to pause and play the quarry mining and up here if you right click this first top thing it is a fuel system so you need coal for this I didn't actually bring any coal with me so we're gonna have to cheat that in real quick there we are <laughs> So. We're just going to add in coal into here. And now it starts mining. As you can see, it's working quite well. And if we wait a little bit while we watch here. There we are, you see it used up one coal. So these things do actually require coal. And if you were to attack it here at the bottom, it'll tell you this quarry has been paused and it will no longer be mining. If you hit it again, quarry will resume. Very nice. All Each the tier, go yes. <laughs> All of the output items from the quarry go minus one X from your first position. So where you spawn the quarry, the items will go off in the X direction away from the center of the quarry. So if you set this one as your origin, the items will go over here. Basically, just set up your quarry first, work out where the items go, and then build your item feeding system. Anyway, that's basically all it does. It just goes down to y equals 5 and then stops. And if you want to remove a quarry, all you have to do is break this, or break any of the edges. Just break it, the whole quarry is gone, everything breaks. Perfect. All the items from the cooking thing as well are dropped onto the ground, so you can pick those up, as well as an extra chest. <laughs> So now over here, I have some demos already set up. These are some functioning quarries. And over here we have coal in this chest up here. <coughs> and these three, the iron, gold, and emerald, all require coal. <laughs> they all require coal. The diamond one does not require coal. And neither does this dicidian one, which we'll get to a bit later. That's the top tier, by the way. Very fast, very good. So I have this set up so that when I flick this lever over here, all of these will activate. Let's just quickly grab myself some food. There we are. Cool. All these three will activate once I turn this on. So now they've been filled up with coal. And you can already see the difference in speed. Look at this. This one's clearly racing ahead. The emerald one, much faster. Obviously the iron one's falling behind. Things. I can start one of these and show these. So here we are, you're just going to start up the diamond one. 
Oh, I put it in the wrong way. Oh well. <laughs> as you can see, the diamond one is definitely faster than the emerald one as well. And all of these entities here, they load in their chunks, so you can be anywhere in the world, even in a different dimension, and the quarry at your house will still be loaded. You can't build quarries in the Neverver. I'm not sure why, it just didn't work. Uh, so yeah. But that's alright. Basically all these quarries just mine away. And you can set up a hopper stream to chests or a storage system or even an item sorter. Some of these quarries mine too fast for hoppers to keep up with. Like the diamond and the dicidian, you have to use multiple hoppers. Uh, which is a bit confusing, but that's alright. I'm sure you can figure it out. Just use water streams as well to transport items. Uh, ignore the debugging in the chat, that will be gone. I'll just quickly hide the chat. Where is hiding? Oh, they disabled that, never mind. <laughs> anyway, for this Dicidian one, we'll just turn off all these quarries because they're annoying. It's the fuel one, so I'll just break these. Here we are. Oh, the coal fell down. There we go. Now we'll have no more annoying chat. Anyway, with the Dicidian, it's a very expensive crafting recipe. It's four obsidian and five diamonds for just one Dicidian. And for two, two of the corners, you need seven Dicidian, which is four times seven, I don't know. Yeah, something, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure, that was fast. 28, yeah, sorry, I'm dumb. Uh, and then four, yeah, that is right. Cool. <laughs> and then you need five times seven diamonds, which is like, I don't know, I'm having a mental blank, it's fine. <clears throat> I'm usually better than this. <laughs> anyway, for each tier, you also need the previous tier. That's not one of the tiers. You need the previous tier, so for the diamond, you need the emerald plus another seven diamonds. I think that is, yeah. Cool. And that's basically it. You can build quarries up to a certain size. Um, the minimum size is 5x5. Five five. This is as small as you can build it. If we were to try and build it smaller, so if I just steal these corners, it's a great thing. And now if I were to build a 4x4 four four one, or even just anything else, really. I just grab some more. Four by four one. There we are. <clears throat> if I were to set this up, it just won't work. And it will tell you in the chat up here the quarry size must be at least five by five blocks. So that is good. It tells you about it. That's fine, we don't need this. Anyway, that's about it. So thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and this download will eventually be in the description, it might not be there straight away, it should be, I'll fix any of the bugs and stuff before then, so you'll get a fully functional download. Anyway, don't forget to check back here if you need any tutorials for how to make the quarry, like with all these recipes, I can go through them one by one. Here you are, just pause the video at any moment to see a recipe you want. It's in the crafting book anyway. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you to Wombat Lord for being here, just because why not? It's also multiplayer friendly, so two people can set up a quarry as he just did. You can set up quarries separately, and they'll all work as expected. Even on servers. See ya.